Hi Anna, sorry this has taken me so long. So this first video is going to be over the midpoint formula. This formula is used when you are looking at a coordinate plane and you have a segment and you know the two endpoints, so one on either side, and you're trying to find the midpoint or the point that is perfectly in the middle of those two. So it would divide that segment into two parts. So your endpoints, here let me change my pen real quick. Your endpoints would have the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So we just have two coordinates similar to what we use for um, slope formula. So the midpoint formula, again, since we're looking at a point, we'll find an x value and a y value. So the x value, you're basically just taking the average of the two x values. So you add them together, divide by 2. The, two, the value of the y value of the midpoint would be the average of the y coordinate. So you add them together, then divide by 2. This is a formula that you will um, be using a lot as you go forward in geometry. So it is one that you would need to know. So if you just kind of think about the midpoint is in the middle, so it's the average that's what I've used to help me. So let's say we have the points, let's say we have a point negative 2, 1, sorry, negative 2, negative 1, and 4, 2, that we need to find the midpoint. So we would find the average of our two x values, so I want the negative 2 plus the 4, oops, and then I'll divide that by 2. The y value would be the average of the two y values. So I add those together, then divide by 2. So I get 2 over 2, 1 over 2, which simplifies to the coordinate of 1 and 1 half. So a lot of times you will get fractions in here. Um, just but they should be something like this, probably. Okay, let's do one more. Let's say we have coordinates negative 2, 3, and 5, negative 3. So those are our endpoints. We want to find the midpoint. So we want to find the average of our two um, x values the average of our two y values so that would give us 3 over 2 and then 0 over 2. Now the 3 over 2 um, this is where sometimes you'll see it left as 3 over 2 or you could write it as 1 and a half. The 0 over 2 would simplify to just 0. Okay? Now the other type of problem that you will have with this is we know that one endpoint has the coordinates negative 6, negative 1, and we know that the midpoint is at negative 1, 1. And we are trying to find the other endpoint. So since we have the endpoint, we're going to do this a little bit differently. So we're looking at in this case we're going to split that midpoint formula up and look at just our x values and just our y values because we know the negative 6 plus the other x divided by 2 would need to give us the negative 1 so the x's match okay so that negative 6 plus the other x value divided by 2 should give us the negative 1 then the negative 1 plus a y value divided by 2 would give us the 1. So now we're looking at just our y's. So we have to split it up into x's and y's. Then just multiplying everything by 2, we get negative 6 plus x equals negative 2. Negative 1 plus y equals 2. Then here we're going to add 6, so I get that x is 4. Here I'm going to add 1 and I get 3. So the coordinates of my other endpoint would be 4, 
3. So if you kind of think about that, going from negative 6, negative 1, to 4, 3, okay, that the negative 6 to the 4 in the middle is going to be about negative 1. From negative 1 to 3, our middle is going to be 1. So just kind of do a quick check. So we'll do one more of those. Let's say... Um, Let's see. Let me double check. Okay. Um, let's say we have an endpoint of 2, 2, and I know my midpoint is 4, negative 3. I need to find the other endpoint. So looking at my x's, which you could even, to help you make this a little easier to solve, x plus 2 over 2, because remember at the top, since you're adding two values together with the commutative property, it doesn't matter which order you do those, okay? So we could do x plus 2 over 2 or 2 plus x over 2. That would equal 4. y plus 2 over 2 would equal our midpoint value of negative 3 for the y. Divide every, or multiply everything by 2. We get that x plus 2 is equal to 8. So this is where we're doing this. Multiply this by 2, so we get y plus 2 is equal to negative 6. So now we, with the way this point was given, we just subtract 2 from each side. So I get that x is equal to 6, y is equal to negative 8. So our other endpoint has the coordinates of 6, negative 8, which from 2 to 4 to 6, and then 2 to negative 2 to negative 8. Kind of makes sense. Okay, so that's the midpoint formula.